So uh, this isn't a review on any you know piece of gear. It's more just kind of what I'm using right now, and um, it's really worked flawlessly. And it is light. Uh, it might not work for everybody, but for me, it works most of the time. Uh, so what I have here is uh, Tox Titanium. This is the 500 milliliter pot, and it is awesome. Uh, all, all the Tox stuff is great. I love it. It's a little expensive, but I think it's one of those things that you get what you pay for. This one does have uh, the marks in milliliters on the inside. And it goes all the way up to 500, which is uh, about a quarter inch below the uh, lip of the pot. So with it being a 500 milliliter pot, it lets me boil up to two cups of water, which is more than enough for me on my solo trips, which is usually what I do. Um, this next year, I'm hoping my girlfriend will be able to come out a lot more with me. And I'll probably bring something more like my wind burner or a bigger pot in my, you know, the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Uh, but for my solo trips, it's the Tokes Titanium 500 milliliter pot in combination with, this is a Fohaz. Super small in comparison to the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket 2, which is a phenomenal stove. I love this thing, but it's a lot bigger than this. So uh, this is a Fohaz. A funny story about this, and I've done a video on it in the past. Um, it's a, a knockoff of a BRS. It is identical to a BRS. In fact, when I ordered it, I ordered this off Amazon uh, as a BRS. I ordered a BRS and a Fohaz is what came to me in the mail. So I emailed Amazon after I got it when it wasn't what I ordered and I actually never got a response from Amazon. And I didn't pursue it um, because I wasn't very concerned. This thing cost $16. I just checked on my phone. It's up to $22 now. But I bought this, um, again, from Amazon, from BRS, and I got a Fohaz stove in the mail. It, if, if I were to put a BRS right here next to it, you would not know the difference. It's the same thing. So I think it's 60% titanium, and the other 40% is other various metals. Um, but it is small, lightweight, and durable. Uh, I've probably had at least a hundred burns off this thing. It's solid as can be. It doesn't move. Uh, minor discoloration, but that's normal. It's great. It's held up great. It holds this 500 milliliter pot, uh, you know, with my you know, fuel, obviously. Uh, and, it, you know, and it works perfectly. So I'll go over some weights with you guys. Um, you know, and I think it's ultralight. <laughs> And uh, this is going to be in ounces. Egan, if you want grams, just send me an email or comment. I'll give it to you. 3.5 ounces. So, awesome, awesome pot. So small. One ounce. So if you combine the two without fuel, um, four and a half ounces for my cook setup. Now, a couple of the things I do for my own personal setup is I have a, a little pad. Uh, I usually always have this in my pot. And I usually have... And then I usually have a windscreen. It's just a piece of tin foil. Doesn't even register on the scale. Uh, this usually goes with me, but uh, it's really not that important. The stove doesn't work well in the wind. Uh, it's a pretty common complaint with the BRS Fohaz type stoves. 
but it's just as easy as using a piece of tin foil or, you know, hiding my stove behind a rock or cupping your hands. This will boil two cups of water in, um, and again, it's in my review. I did a review on it. Uh, it'll boil two cups of water. You know, an average burn time is probably two and a half minutes for two cups to uh, bring it to a boil anyways. So I have a full can. A full can. So, so with a full can of fuel, my pad, this usually goes in there before I put that in there, but there's my windscreen. Lid. Stove. 11.3 ounces. That's not a lot. To me, that's ultralight. Uh, maybe to you it's not. I don't honestly know how I could go any lighter. And it works great. This has been my go-to for, you know, roughly seven months now. Um, and again, if I'm going with uh, my girlfriend, a group, car camping, I do things differently. But on my solo trips, that's it. That's all I use. So, again, not a review, but if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, emails, comments, doesn't matter to me, whatever you guys want. You guys, this is my, uh, you know, I think I probably called it my stove setup, my cook setup. I don't really know. But with this particular setup, I do not cook. Um, you know, for example, I don't, I don't put this pan on this little burner. It's not going to support it. Uh, this, this, this is not a cooking stove. This boils water for coffee, hot chocolate, and rehydrating food, uh, ramen bombs. I love ramen bombs. If cooking real food, meat, vegetables, eggs, bacon, uh, you know, if that's your thing, this is probably not the stove for you. When I do want to cook things like that, I bring other, other setups. Um, for example, I will use my Pocket Rocket 2 with this uh, pan, or I will boil, you know, macaroni and cheese in this pot on my Pocket Rocket but the Fawaz stove is not going to support this kind of weight. It's just not going to do it. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up. This uh, setup is, you know, it's a water heater. That's all this is. But on my solo trips, uh, that's all I need. I have a campfire for anything else. I'll throw my fish on the fire. Um, so... That's that, guys. That's my setup. Um, I have more, but this is what I prefer on my solo trips. And please, uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. What are you guys using? What do you recommend? What am I doing wrong? Um, always, always open to learning new things. So thank you all for watching, and we'll uh, see you on the next one. Happy New Year.